Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you for coming today to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about something very important, and that is how to bring your pet to Mexico. On this video, we're going to be talking about how to bring your pet via car to Mexico, not by flying. We're going to be talking about our experiences in the last six months in Mexico, traveling with our pet in our car. So hopefully we have a lot of answers for you that we can help you. And let's get started. Just in case we have two dogs, one of them is like 13 pounds, so she considered the small dog. And the second one, it's a medium sized dog. It's like around 35 pounds. So that's the sizes of our dogs. And the reason we couldn't fly is because of our medium sized dog that mostly it's hard to find like a plane that's gonna take your dogs with you, unless they're a service dog. Mm -hmm. Let's begin. The first part is getting ready to bring your dog to Mexico. So one of the important parts, you wanna stop by the vet. You want to make sure his rabies shots or her rabies shots are up to date. Um, you're going to need also to make sure that he doesn't have any open wounds and doesn't have any infected areas. Those needs to be treated before the dog coming into Mexico. And the dog needs to look healthy. Rabies shot. So that's your two things, most important parts. Now, when you're getting into the border, um, they really don't ask you anything. They don't even look at our dogs. Last time with what happened to us. Yeah, but again, it's from our experience and from from the groups that we joined on Facebook. Also, I never read and never heard about story that somebody had problem with the dogs with entering. Everybody just like entering fine. You just need to have this uh, paper of rabies. That's their must thing that you need to show. But nobody asks for that. But it's obviously it's important to have it so have it just in case but more than likely you're not gonna need it to go inside mexico yeah. and need it to go outside of mexico because nobody even looked our way we just get our passports and that's it we're in and we're out so pretty easy to bring them in now the second part we're going to be uh, talking about food for dogs what are you actually allowed to bring into the mexico so right now, uh, the information I'm giving you, it's about driving in or walking into the Mexico. It's not a flight. Flight, they have different rules, different information. You can read it. When you come into Mexico by the car, you can bring up to 50 pounds of dry dog food and up to 10 pounds of the dog treats. That's what you can bring. It's supposed to be sealed and that's it all right so on to the next topic is how to find a place to stay in mexico while you're there with your pets now it can be a lot of tough finding a place with your pet to stay in mexico it's not the same as here in the united states but we got you covered there so one option that you have is called bring fido it's an app that allows you to find pet friendly hotels for you and your pet and they're rated and everything and it's only for hotels that is the thing so you have to be in a hotel with your pet one that we find more comfortable for us is airbnb it's more comfortable for us because we can cook we cook for our dogs so uh, they can be more freely more loud uh, you can leave them when you're actually walking out to discover because mostly hotels you cannot yes so yes, you can have Airbnb. We recommend Airbnb for traveling with your dog. Now, one of the things about traveling with your dog and using Airbnb is sometimes it will say that it allows pets, but when you go to the description or the house rules, you're gonna see that they may not take your pet. A lot of the things that they may do is not allow dogs past 30 pounds, or no oh, yeah. specific breeds so one of those things that we always recommend you to do is go to the description go to the house rules to make sure that they will allow your dog 
and make sure you're putting in that you how many dogs you're taking because a lot of places will charge you per dog and try not to lie on these things because a lot of times in Mexico it's not self-checking when you're coming to the place you are being greeted most likely by the owner of the place oh, yeah. so they will see how many dogs you're bringing in and a lot of times they live in the same house or on top house on the side house depends, depends <laughs> where you're renting <laughs> so they, they will be around sometimes most of the time in our case they were around most of the time Another thing, um, in Mexico you can buy flea and tick treatment without a vet appointment. So let's say you need Travexin or Netgar or all the brands with the, with the flea and tick prevention. You can just walk into any vet place and buy it just like that without any appointment. So that's a good thing. Price for the medication is between 400 to 500 pesos, and it's a monthly dose. It's around $30 or so. Yeah, it's about the same prices like in United States. Just in United States, you gotta go to vet in order to get the prescription. So, yeah. Now, let's talk about safety. Is it safe to bring your dog into Mexico? Is it safe to walk? On your dog in Mexico is there a lot of street dogs in the streets when you're walking your dog on that next <laughs> so is it safe I was walking the dog most of the times uh, for six months and I felt completely safe uh, walking my dogs in Mexico I usually like to separate both because my little one is a troublemaker She's the one that likes to start fights for no reason, but I walk them separately, but you know your dogs better. Now, one thing is when you find street dogs, lots of the time they will mind their own business. Sometimes you will have dogs that want to say hi, want to get close. One thing that I did is just tell them to go away and most times they will just leave you alone. They just wanted to say hi, they just want to smell something and leave. So most dogs were like that. Uh, I know some people that wanted to bring some type of protection, like uh, a little st a stick or something to make dogs go away. Uh, you can do that. Um, I found that if you just firm, hey, go away, bye, ciao, they will leave you alone. Uh, so. You, you may have smaller dogs that may have more problems. Sometimes she likes to pick up our smaller dog when she feels something, but most of the time nothing really happens. So we felt pretty safe. Some cities will be worse than others. Yeah. Puerto Vallarta has a lot of street dogs. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Some areas of Mazatlan have also a lot of street dogs. So it depends on where you go. So try to go into their that city's Facebook group Sometimes they will complain about a lot of dogs being there. A lot of expats have groups in all these uh, different cities. So they will tell you uh, about your different city, how it is with dogs. That's one way to find out. Yeah. If you like this type of content and you want to know how it was for us driving in Mexico for six months, also let us know in the comments and we might make a video about that too. So we want to thank you so much for stopping by today. <laughs> If you like our content, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Yeah. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm and we truly appreciate it. Now we will see you again next week. Thank you again for your support. See you again.